Four score and seven years ago. A reenactor dressed as Abraham Lincoln read the words spoken by the president on this day in 1863. It was part of a ceremony held at the Soldiers National Cemetery where Union soldiers who fell in the Battle of Gettysburg are buried. President Lincoln came here about five months after that harvest of death in the words of the man who took this photo. The president gave voice to the nation's shock over the enormous casualties. They totaled almost 50,000, making it the bloodiest battle of the Civil War. We cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. His speech lasted little more than two minutes, and America's 16th president predicted that the world will little note nor long remember what we say here. He was wrong. Princeton University historian James McPherson says Lincoln's legacy is synonymous with the founding principles of the Republic. It was here at Gettysburg that Lincoln made the most eloquent and effective expression of these ideas. Michael Crutcher is a veteran of the U.S. Army who makes appearances as abolitionist leader Frederick Douglass. The words were, were almost mystical and enchanting. Harvard University President Drew Gilpin Faust, a historian, says Lincoln was moved by what had happened here. He meant that he felt small, I think, in comparison to what had been given by so many here. And it was humbling. And he was left somewhat in awe of the courage and the sacrifice that had been shown by so many on this field. American school children used to have to memorize the Gettysburg Address. An online project with the help of living American presidents urges Americans to remember it a century and a half later. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania.